There's so much information out there when it comes to the housing, when it comes to the market, when it comes to the housing market, when it comes to the stock market, when it comes to the car market, when it comes to everything, there is so much coming at you right now. And it's coming from the media, it's coming from Facebook, it's coming from YouTube, it's coming from every angle. So unless you don't use social media in any way, shape or form, unless you have never turned on a television or listened to a radio, you're hearing information constantly about what's happening in the market. I wanna let you know what's happening in the market right now in the housing market, it's it's not much less than what's happened previously, but the market has been crazy. So let me show you some information about how things have been and how things are moving forward. Whenever I'm giving you information, I'm always giving you information about what experts are saying. It's not just my own personal opinion. I get my information from experts and I'm always trying to take a gauge as to what's happening in the market. So with that said, it's very important that we know last year, if you look at the appreciation in 2022, from January 2022 to June of 2022, things were absolutely nuts. When you're looking at this, you have the Case Shiller, you have FHFA as well as CoreLogic. So based on these, this is showing what happened in 2022 across until July of 2023. And what happened was until June of 2022, we were having crazy appreciation. This is nationwide. And this crazy appreciation really pushed us into a position where we had to have some kind of a correction. It doesn't have to be that the market is falling apart. We have small corrections every now and again. The housing market, even though it's very easy to say that it doesn't happen like once, like it does in the stock market, you can see it happen for a few months. And so what you saw last year was was from July, this is nationwide again, from July until January of this year, you saw depreciation, you saw percentages down. The highest amount that was recorded was, was with Case Schiller and it was at 0.9%. And that was in August of 2022. In starting the, in February of 2023, we started to see appreciation again. If you look at the appreciation, now let's look specifically to if we look over time. So if we look over time, over the last 49 years, we have appreciation over the last 49 years and inside of this chart over the last 49 years from 1973 to 2022 inside of this chart it shows you that the appreciation is going to go up and it's going to come down as well so right around the the June time it really kind of peaks out in May and it starts to come down a little bit in June and then into December let's now take a look at if we're looking at Silicon Valley specifically remember keeping that in mind Silicon Valley specifically you can look and this is a chart from 2020 to 2023 so this specific specifically is showing inventory. So inventory, if you look here, so from 2022, again, housing is off the charts as far as appreciation until June. And if you look at the inventory here, so January of 2022, it's at 0.9, 1.1 in February, 0 0.7, 0 0.9 in April, and in May, 1.3, and now it comes up in June, 1.6, July, 2.3. This is where you see that slight correction. And then if you go into January of 2023, it's at 2.4 months. So 2.4 months of inventory are on the market. And here in Silicon Valley, this is specifically Silicon Valley, this is specifically Santa Clara County. I don't wanna show multiple counties here because I wanna specifically focus on Santa Clara, just because one county at a time is easier. So January, it's 2.4 months. So then if you look at February 1.9, remember when you start to see the appreciation, so February 1.9, March 1.2, April 1.3, May 1 month, and June 0.9 months of, of, of inventory. And then July 1.2, 1.1 September 1.3. So this is simply showing you that chart is nationwide, but it's also very specific to Silicon Valley. Now let's take a look at this chart. This is 2023 year-end home price forecasts. And if you look at the price, the year-end home price forecast for 2023, you look across the board here and you have there's six different charts that show where the appreciation is forecast. And again, this is nationwide. Silicon Valley tends to appreciate faster and harder than everywhere else. But this is going to be from AEI to Zillow, Fannie Mae, HPES, MBA, as well as NAR. NAR is the only one that has a depreciation, National Association of Realtors, a depreciation of 0.4%. So down 0.4% possibility. And that is the 2023 year in forecast. Now there was a survey, there was a home price expectation survey, a nationwide panel of over 100 economists, real estate experts and investments and market strategists were involved in this survey. And what they said across the board, this is going to be from 20 
2023 to 2027. And what they said, the estimated home price performance in 2023 will be up 3.32%, 2024, 2.17%, 2025, 3.24%, and as high as in 2027, 4.18%. And in 2026, 3.79%. I said them all. There you go. So overall, we're looking at the housing market continuing to do well and maybe not perform the way that it did, but continue to do well. And remember, when you look to purchase a home, it's that's the time to purchase a home. When you look to sell the home, that's the time to sell the home. I have another chart for you as well. And this, again, is specifically from Silicon Valley. And this is the copy of the sales prices over time. So if you look in November of 2022 until October of 2023, we're not done with October of 2023, so let's look at September of 2023. November of 2022, again, Santa Clara County, November of 2022, the average sales price was 1.924. And then over the course of time, it dipped down a little bit, came back up, and now we are in back in September, 2.185. So if you look at the numbers, the numbers are dictating what we can actually see at the, at the national charts. So when you look at those national charts, you look at the numbers, everything comes together. Let me remind you, if you're a buyer, the difference between owning a home and renting a home, there are some very big differences. When you rent, typically your monthly payments are going to stay the same for a year or two years. And then when you renew your lease, you're more than likely going to have to make higher payments because the landlord wants to raise the rents with the appreciation in the market. When you rent, you're not getting any return on the investment. You're not putting any money into a mortgage. You're not putting any money into your own personal home. You're renting somebody else's home and putting money into their pocket. So when you're renting, you're not getting appreciation as the home prices go up. And when you're renting, the cost of your living in the home is going to continue to go up as well. So you're not putting money away and you're continuing to pay more money into the rental market, whether it's that landlord that you've had for a long time or you're going into a new place. So when you're renting, those funds continue to take more money out of your pocket. So it's less money that you have a chance to save. If you like videos like this, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. I'm always here and happy to help. Talk to you soon.